Clemens, very aggressive stage and you were involved in the action from the start. Uh, well, yeah, there were a lot of uh, GC riders attacking all day long and we just didn't have any other choice as to, to follow for defending our position in the GC. And well, in the end, um, I moved into the yellow jersey, which I didn't really expect, so I'm very happy. Did you believe that the previous yellow jersey would be too strong? I mean, he was very dominant yesterday, uh, so did you think it was going to be very difficult to, to get into yellow? Well, to be honest, I expect, I thought after the second stage that uh, the first uh, place in the GC was uh, already determined, uh, like it was reserved for Patrick, um, because he was so strong, but... Well, with all the guys um, attacking, like so many different teams uh, were attacking all day long, so uh, yeah, I've been very lucky that, uh, that I'm in the jersey now. He returned to your group after the, the, the big climb, uh, but then the group split again. Can you talk about how that happened? Well, um, there was one rider remained in front from the initial breakaway, and then there were a lot of other riders. Uh, attacking and um, getting some advantage and I saw some GC riders in front so I, I had to go and um, well in the end we were like 11 riders I think and um, a lot of GC riders and we, we worked together pretty well so um, uh, for, fortunately we could, uh, we could do it yeah. There's a summit finish tomorrow in Carrick and Shure, Seskin Hill, it's an uphill finish, so how do you feel about your chances of holding the yellow jersey? It will be very hard. I think there are a lot of, from the today's breakaway, there are a lot of strong rider, uh, strong climbers, and uh, yeah, the, it will be a hard, a hard day tomorrow. Finally, can you just tell me about your background, you know, what, what races you have, what results you have in the past, what kind of races you've been doing? Uh, you mean this year or? Uh, in general, yeah, general, and, and this year. Wow. This year was, for me, it was okay. So I did uh, some results, but a lot of work for the team. Um, and in the last season, well, I had some victories, not too many, as I started the last four years. Now I'm about to finish, so I have more time for cycling. Um, before my studies, I was professional for four years. But, well, not too successful. I had some results, but I, mainly I was a domestic of my teams. If you do win this race overall, will it be one of your best results of your career? It will be, it will be the best, yeah, <laughs> of course. I've been delighted this evening in Clannock Well, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Like, I didn't expect this, so we were just trying to uh, defend our position on the podium. But, well, it's, I'm, I'm really um, very happy, yeah. Really, really happy. Tell me, it's not over yet. A small lead and the rest of the riders, certainly nine or ten riders within a handful of seconds. Still have a lot of work to be done and for people to appreciate, it's only stage five, it's an eight day stage race. Well yeah, there are a lot of riders are uh, very close in the GC, like almost the whole uh, breakaway of today. And here it's the race is, um, well, it's, it's very open, like everybody's fighting for 100%, everybody's attacking all day long and it, it will be a very hard hard work for us and I think the race is still very open. Okay, thank you very much.